What's up YouTube? Jackal here, uh, bringing you the new maps. So, first new map, Impact, Dark, at night, Impact, at night, that, that's literally it, that is literally it, um, Impact, at night time, I can't, I can't really give any more detail, that, that's it, if you played Impact, it's Impact, at night time, um, yeah, I, look, I, I will look forward to playing this map, see what it's like, at night time but mm, yeah it's not it's not something I'm gonna look forward to greatly so yes I have to wait and see So that was impact at night time. Next up we have War Machine. Um, again, I like War Machine. I liked it since Gal 1, Gal 2, Gal 3, etc, 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 etc. But, it, I don't know. It looks nice. It looks really nice. Calm, I, don't, yeah, I am looking forward to playing it. But it's just not a new map for me. It just doesn't tickle my fancy. You know? Oh, um, I, want, I would like a new map. You know, Reclaimed, Foundation, Lift. Those kind of maps. They're nice. Freeway kind of section. Um, I do wonder how this might play in Escalation, where the home hills will be, uh, you know, same with Guardian, uh, King of the Hill is going to be a fan favourite I would have imagined, uh, a lot of lot of memories on War Machine, King of the Hill, even private lobbies as well, so yeah, um, these maps are out now on the developers playlist, uh, and I believe that they are Guardian, King of the Hill and TDM, so with a 20% boost in uh, bounties and XP as well, so yeah, I mean visually it looks nice, but that's that's about it really, so yeah. So yeah, that was War Machine. So we got a few patch notes here, okay? So we got guardian improvements. Speaking of Guardian, got a few, uh, few surprises based on feedback. Blah, blah. Spawn system um, from the original spawn solutions, something entirely new. Leader spawns. So you will now basically spawn near the leader for anyone who's interested in playing Guardian. I personally used to play Guardian on Gal 2, did on Gal 3, but it's not really my kind of thing anymore. It's nice, it's good that they're doing you know things for that and improving each other kind of playlist which is really good like I'm, I'm happy about that um, so yeah they're gonna have a new spawn system in Guardian Valentine's event um, so they're gonna have a Valentine's Day event um, 10th of February the uh, beginning of uh, beginning of over a week of Valentine's Day celebration with new gears packs to earn daily Valentine's themed bounties another craftable character to collect and then much requested return of talkbo tag uh, with a Cupid style twist so that might be quite fun um, so yeah, just stay tuned on that. It'll also be on the uh, message of the day at the beginning when you start up the gears um, four. So they said looking, looking for more to come for Gears of War four, including new features, characters, and content arriving in the months ahead. Today we want to share a few updates on uh, hotly requested com uh, community features and content that is on its way. Back in November, we announced that we were working on a new feature based on fan feedback, a pre-game lobby system for core and competitive playlists to improve ranked experience in Gears of War 4. Today, we're excited to share that core and competitive lobbies will arrive next uh, next month in March update. We'll share more details, news, and first looks in, in the new system closer to release. So, sounds pretty good. Again, it does sound pretty... Yeah, it's not bad. It's not um, the worst kind of thing in the world, but, you know... Um, and then next we got the Gears Feedback Program, survey fans requested playlists and weapon tuning. Right, this is something that I actually want to get into, weapon tuning. The gun on the core for Nasha is ridiculous and the gun on competitive to me doesn't work because I can, it's 70% and 83%. How many people out there, 70% and 83%, huh? That's like, it's incredibly annoying. Um, yeah, so also Dizzy's getting a little bit of a little bit of an update as well with his uh, lights basically on his armor. 
being in the next week, this will uh, this will work. Will turn into a steady flow of legendary characters for our fans from iconic heroes past of the wholly demanded return of locust characters. So locusts are returning, which I personally am very, very, very grateful of. Because swarm, they're nice. They are nice looking. Okay, but it, the locust is where it's at. If anyone's true Gears family been playing it since the Gears uh, Gears One days, then they will, you know, really love the locust. Me myself, I really did like the locust a lot. So let's let's see about that. So we now are on to the other patch notes. So we've got a couple of uh, campaign and hordes difficulties. Iron Man mode, um, new difficulty for campaign and hordes. Um, then we've got level 6 skills for all classes in Horde, so some of you guys, if you're a Horde players, you know, I, I don't personally play Horde, it's okay, it's enjoyable now and again, but not, again, not my kind of thing. Uh, more skills for existing classes, which is kind of good. Uh, new achievements, this is something good, this is something that's going to be good for any achievement hunters out there. Um, added a small delay before being able to fire when wall counseling, this is very interesting that they've, they've, they've put this in here, so now they can... I, I personally thought that the code in the game was going to be uh, a bit crazy here, like, but apparently they can actually update that, which is something um, that's, uh, you know, in my eyes, that's, that's amazing. So they should be able to update gun damage a lot more, etc. Um, yeah, new Guardian spawn mode. Players on the spawn close to leader. We touched on that earlier a little bit. Uh, lights on Dizzy, again, said about that. Talk bow now rotates the sniper every round on Blood Drive. So, again, people who play Blood Drive used to be sniper all the time now it rotates with, with uh, talkbow so sniper and talkbow each round not bad uh, not bad at all resolve an issue that causes to be stuck out of sight on the blood drive resolve minor um, on blood drive could be uh, block bullets improved messaging uh, for core and competitive rejoin so that's going to be pretty good so core and competitive rejoin when rejoin after uh, rejoin window ends so you can now rejoin the lobby that you left so that's going to be pretty good this is one thing that i really enjoyed incendiary grenades now kill down but not out players with execution rules on so meaning if you play an execution or escalation and execution rules are on you can now lob an incendiary grenade at that person and it will kill them so that's going to be pretty good previous map high score will now display at the end of the round scoreboards and horde again something for you horde players trick shot ribbon is now correctly awarded in Horde, another kind of Horde thing. Sniper Strike Horde uh, car can no longer count towards headshot bounties. Maybe that was a bit of a glitch. Again, I'm not really too sure. When a player scopes with long shot, the scope now displays for spectators. This will, I, this is nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, when they put that in there. Um, fix an issue with suspending um, suspending the target that could cause suspension for longer, lo last uh, to last longer than intended. So again not you know i'm glad that they're finding these issues and fixing them as much as possible so just tell me your thoughts um comment in sections below i really do appreciate you guys watching this video and uh yeah all the links are going to be in the description please like comment subscribe any of your thoughts positive negative neutral i i like all the feedback i can possibly get just to make my videos a little bit better all right thank you very much enjoy your day and have a good time